So James Harden is very available for a trade. It did not happen over the weekend, people. So it's looking like, as I make this video, James Harden will kick off the season tomorrow night as a Houston Rocket. Now, the Rockets don't play until Wednesday, but the point I'm trying to make is if, if a team doesn't make a trade for James Harden by the end of today, the likelihood of a team making a trade for James Harden tomorrow or Wednesday, I mean, you at that point, you, you, you'll you be cutting it too short. You got to roll what you got. If that trade for James Harden didn't get made over the weekend, it more times than not is not going to happen. Now, look, that doesn't mean a couple weeks into the season, a team might look around and be like, all right, we're 0-4. Let's give it a go. Let's try to salvage this season. You know, with no fans, we'll see how teams respond. It, it, it could get ugly for some teams quickly, right? If you lose a couple games and you don't even got the fans there booing you, guys could check out quickly. So I, I, I don't rule out a James Harden trade in middle January, middle February, deadlines at the end of March. I don't rule out a trade for James Harden before the deadline. What has transpired over the last week, which – the last time I talked about Harden, this wasn't the case. The Rockets want to move on from James Harden now. They want to get a deal done. It's a little crazy to me. I will hold on to him until I feel like I'm getting a great package. Right? Like, I said I would take the Brooklyn Nets package. I think it's the best package you'll get right now. But I think you can get that package today, tomorrow, or whenever. Right? Like, I don't think you necessarily got to pull the trigger on, on that package. We're going to get to that more in a second now. But James Harden, whatever he's done, I guess his semi-work, he's gotten that Houston Rockets organization to at least say, you know what, we're tired of this. We want to move him. And the Rockets had conversations with Brooklyn. The Rockets had a little bit of conversation with Philadelphia with the deal revolving around Ben Simmons. Here's what the one with Philly got crazy. Philly said, yo, us getting James Harden wasn't enough. We would want more than just James Harden if we're going to trade you guys Ben Simmons. That was a shocker to me. I would think Ben Simmons for Harden straight up and down. I, I would think Philly would need to give up a couple more pieces, but that's a real report coming out of Philadelphia. Uh, there are a couple other teams in play. I've seen people bring up Denver. I just wouldn't make that move in Denver coming off of the season that they had. Like, you got all that momentum. You beat the Clippers. And, you know, hey, you're a piece or two away. They had a couple injuries at the guard position. You're a piece or two away from maybe getting the six or seven games with the Lakers. I wouldn't make that move. Because when you bring in Harden, not only does this, the on-the-court culture change, what we're learning through recent articles about James Harden, uh, the culture off the court changes as well. When he wants to practice, when he doesn't want to practice, if he's got two or three days in between games, he's definitely hitting to the club. He's definitely leaving town. If he feels like there's an opportunity for him to get to Vegas or, or, or wherever, Los Angeles, wherever. And, and to, for me personally, I, I don't complain much about it because James Harden, when he gets on that court, he's the best version of himself. What bothers me with Harden more is the fact that he doesn't allow point guards to be point guards. I don't want to see John Wall off the basketball playing the Ray Allen role. I don't want to see Russell Westbrook off the basketball playing the Ray Allen role. I don't want to see Chris Paul off the basketball playing the Ray Allen role. That's what I don't want to see. If he wants to go to a club and then come back and drop 40 points in a triple-double, hey, to each his own, whatever, whatever. If that's what gets him through the, the, the pressures of being an NBA superstar, it is what it is. Before we get out of here, though, I want to play this game with you guys. I thought Bleacher Report did a good job of bringing up some possible trade scenarios for the, the, the Houston Rockets with James Harden. I want you guys to let me know out of these deals you see, which one would you strongly consider? So we got with Philly, the Sixers will receive James Harden, nothing else. This is the one I would think makes the most sense if you're Houston. Uh, the Rockets will receive Ben Simmons, Terrence Ferguson, a 2021 first-round pick, and a 2023 first-round pick. Here's another trade. Uh, this is with Brooklyn. Obviously, this would make the big three out there in, in, in Brooklyn with Kyrie and, and KD. So this, this trade, the Nets will get James Harden straight up and down. And the Rockets would get Karis LeVert, Spencer Dinwiddie, Torian Prince, a 2021 first-round pick, a 2023 first-round pick, and a 2025 first-round pick. That's a pretty good, that's a pretty good return if, if I'm Houston. Uh, here's the Knicks. The Knicks would get James Harden, nothing else. The Rockets would receive R.J. Barrett, Julius Randle, a 2021 first-round pick, a 2023 first-round pick, a 2025 first-round pick, and two second-round picks. Now, this trade is, is good from the standpoint of 
you know, I think R.J. Barrett has a lot of James Harden in him. You get him a point guard and take him off the ball at a young age, because I think James Harden is maybe a little too old to take him off the ball. You get Julius Randle, you, you, you get him another Kentucky guy to bang down low with DeMarcus Cousins. I like that. I, I like that. None of these trades are bad, by the way. Here's the Nuggets. James Harden would be the only thing that they get, and the Rockets will receive Gary Harris, Will, will Barton, Michael Porter Jr., a 2021 first-round pick and a 2025 first-round pick. I like the sound of getting Michael Porter Jr., and I'm going to be honest with you. If the Nuggets ain't pulling the trigger on letting Michael Porter be the guy, I can see why there could be some interest in that trade. Me personally, though, I would run it back with the team that they got, give it one more go, then make some decisions on the future of that roster. Here's the Warriors. Uh, the Warriors will get James Harden. The Rockets will get Andrew Wiggins, James Wiseman. That is the number two overall pick in this year's draft. Uh, a 2021 first-round pick, a 2023 first-round pick, and a 2025 first-round pick. I actually think this is the weakest of the trades. I would not take this trade uh, if I were the Rockets. You know the Warriors are going to be good even without Clay, and then they're going to get Clay back. So those picks are going to be probably not worth anything. I'm look for me personally, the trades that I like the most would be, I would say, number one, the Nets trade, number two, the Knicks trade, and maybe for me, number three, the Nuggets trade. The Nuggets and the Philly one are back. I go back and forth with those. I don't like Ben Simmons' game, so that's my only pushback. Uh, but, you know, hey, Michael Porter Jr., I like his game a lot. So y'all let me know what y'all think about those trade opportunities. I'm not saying those are on the board. Bleacher Report was just shooting the crap and just coming up with some scenarios Maybe one of those trades does happen. Let me know which one that you make sense. In the comment box below, I thank you guys so much for the time, love, and support. I don't take it for granted. If you were the Houston Rockets, would you move James Harden a day before the season begins? I'm out.